Hey guys, and welcome to PsyQ Saturday. So it's the World Science Festival at the moment in New York City. Yay! We were at the Kavli Awards. Now the Kavli Awards give a huge million dollar prize in each of three science fields, the big, the small, and the complicated, or astrophysics, nanotechnology, and neuroscience. So we were there today and we didn't know who was going to win the award and we didn't know who was going to be in the audience, but surprise, surprise, my personal science communication hero, Alan Alda, formerly of the TV show MASH and now the founder of the Alan Alda Center for Science Communication was there. Now, Alan was a true professional. He also let us take this awesome selfie. He signed a copy of Radiance for me by Alan Alda. This is one that I used to practice in acting school. Look, he signed it. He spelled my name wrong, but that's okay. And we also got to ask him one question. So it's my delight to be here with Alan Alda, one of my inspirations and someone I've looked up to ever since I was a young girl. My question for you, Alan, is you have a whole science center dedicated to communicating science better and helping scientists communicate better. And we know a lot about the techniques to communicate science better, but how can we instill a love of science? Well, through good communication, I think. Um, if the scientists, and we're trying to work with scientists to communicate their own experience in science, if the scientists love scientists, science, and why wouldn't the scientists love science? Why devote your life to it for no money, <laughs> long hours, and rejection constantly? Why would you devote your life to it if you weren't excited by it? So one of the things that we hope scientists will do as they communicate better is to communicate their own love of it so that we can catch that, we on the outside, and we can enjoy the love of science too because there are a few things more exciting there, don't you think? Yes, I agree. There's so much fascinating things happening in science and yeah. it can be a challenge to get them out in a passionate way. That's right. And the more we get caught up in it together, the more of it will happen and the more there will be to be excited about. <laughs> I would have a million questions for you, but I'm going to let you get back to it. Thank, Thank you for you. all you do for science. Thank you. So let us know what you guys think. Who is your science communication hero? Who do you think is on par with Alan Alda? Let us know in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.